four books of Mice and Men, In the Heat of the Night, The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian, and perhaps most notable, To Kill a Mockingbird, novels addressing racial injustice no longer recommended in Surrey school curriculum. We received a lot of feedback from families of students not feeling safe in the classroom when these resources were um, used. Complaints from several families prompting a year-long review of the books, starting with a panel that included cultural and literary scholars. So we consulted with them, identified criteria, then we recruited teachers. So we recruited 12 teachers who then took this criteria and did independent reviews. So all 12 of them did independent reviews. Then they came together there as a group, created one review that went to the district. Last November, the district stopped recommending the books to teachers, instead suggesting newer novels that empower marginalized groups written by people of color. The question is whether new books have been written in the meantime that can be used as more efficient tools, and especially more efficient tools that don't run the risk of re-traumatizing young people. BC's Education Minister says book recommendations are a district decision, not provincial. The Ministry of Education does not prescribe which books can be used, what resources. Uh, I think that teachers uh, uh, are fully capable to make that decision. But the Premier questions the move to no longer endorse the 1960 novel To Kill a Mockingbird. It seems like a crazy decision, right? This is a beautiful book. Uh, it's a profoundly anti-racist book. I just encourage uh, the board to have another look here uh, at it and, uh, and to give the book a read. There's so many other books that have come out since that time that are more current that might resonate with students a bit better. The board stresses the four books are not banned from Surrey classrooms. In fact, thousands of copies are available for teachers who want to use them. But teachers need to use them with care and be considerate of all students in the classroom. Travis Prasad, Global News.